morning guys yesterday morning uh, well yesterday we spent some time here burned a couple of baits and uh, the one bait we put out for a kingfish a potential kingfish nylon trace that's the one that got picked up that foot on nylon but this is one more nylon that's how it happens get a nice black fin pickup but on the nylon trace which uh, after concluding the session, the peckers were so wild that only the live quarantine actually stayed. And we probably would have caught uh, or had more bites uh, if we changed, if we had different baits and changed more regular. These peckers took a whole shad off in no time. They took a yellowtail head off in no time. So uh, we're dealing with some serious peckers. So I managed to find in the bait freezer two uh, Atkan marine octopus, whole octopus, we will put that out. Good chance for a duck bull then. And then we'll see what, what we can do to get a possible live bait or something. And try and get that out. And the guys have chunked their bait in yet. Check how lazy anglers are. Okay? And uh, I'm gonna blow him up, probably drone anglers. Because you're on top, yeah, that's where the guys fish with drone. And they chuck their bait in here. Yeah, it smells awful. We're at 50 meters to the water to chuck it away. It's a bit ridiculous. And then the drop loop, guys, something I use. Also, just important to mention, um, using a slide trace, which ma makes it a shark safe trace. Sink a thinner line, so that will break off. And then somewhere along the line, if your line breaks off, the fish will pull this off the line, so you won't drag meters and meters of line or braid behind him. You'll be able to pull this off and only have this trace of 1.8 meters which should rust out after a while. Now the drop loop, take this one. I make a loop with mono that fits nicely on the gannet. I've got a, a phantom with a gannet fitted. Then a rubber band, you just put that onto your leader with a rubber band. And that's what I hook onto the drone. Now the further it is from the drone, the more stable it keeps the drone in your bait. If it's close to it, you, you've got this type of movement which worries you or concerns me if the wind's blowing your drone, one of those blades could catch your line. So putting it further down and with the rubber band, it also gives it a, the elasticity that uh, makes it even more stable, the bouncing of that bait. Becomes more stable and it, if it hooks up anywhere in the sea, it just snaps off the rubber band. It's open. Put the drop loop in and here we go and that's it section maybe there's a, a lost shad running around still early it's about 20 past five half past five um, see there's a couple of oaks on, on red rocks we're here just to the right of red rocks um, live shad would be obviously first prize to get in the back here
came back down to try and scratch for some live bait. The bait's very scarce, not much fish around. First bite for the day is this little black tail. Way too small for live bait and undersized, so we're gonna put him back in the water now. now it's looking for one that size for quarantine okay there we go guys this was on that whole hockey that we dropped I was busy trying to get a live bait at the bottom and the rod took off. So what was happening is we dropped the baits on the top and obviously when this fish uh, chowed the bait, it came forward and my line got caught on the muscles there. So it was wrapped around the muscles that run down quickly and come and get it off. But we got it out now and we're fighting the fish. Um, 50 pound J bread, so we don't need to worry about the rocks. Feels like a flatty, eh? I managed to get down to the beach here. I had the fish lined up in a, a little gully in between the rocks here. But what happened was the fish decided to take off and go over the rocks. So I backed off the drag and I'm going to go back towards the rocks and try to pull it. Hopefully it swims away and clears the rocks over. Then I can run further down the beach where there's no rocks and try and get it out. Feels like a decent sized fish. Not an absolute monster but that's a bite. It's scaring now. Huh? to get this onto the beach. Beautiful duck bill ray. Uh, it's a uh, whole chalky on the drop. Two 10 ohm mustard uh, hoodlums. 175 pound fish made wire and I was using my Soltus Grinder Elite Heavy and uh, Soltus 8000 with 50 pound J-Bread. Beautiful strong fish. Very Still strong. got a lot of life in him. So we're not going to waste much time. We're going to get him back into the water. They call him a duck bull because of this pronounced snout that he has. Uh, not, not many of the other ray species have the snout. Look very it. soft. It can pull it up if it doesn't like you, but this one seems to like us. We kept this fish up on the on the wet sand. We didn't take it too far up. It's still nice, strong, and healthy. We got a quick measurement. We're gonna get it back in the water. Guys, thanks for watching. There you go. Hey, Alright, guys, I've just tied like a bit of a daisy chain here, putting fillets on. If it's snook that's smashing out there, it's close enough now to take it with a drone, put it on a float, and put a sinker just to hold it in the bottom. So it's flying, floating higher. 
Let's see if we're lucky enough to get some fish. It's about 200 meters out, the bait shoals. And they smash us all over there. So let's see if we can get lucky. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm a sheet of skirts. I'm just going to stick over onto that fillet. There we go. So we've got three of them dangling. We'll chuck them in there into that bait shell and see what happens. What's that Sandy? Sandy. <laughs> Hold me up going. going there international hey that was a hold me I'm going scenario there eh? solid 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 that this took about 150 meters on the first run now we dropped a dead shad quickly after that duck bill and I'm tight again proper solid fish this took about 150 meters of uh, sting on the first run and a very tight drag uh, it's just holding in the current out there now. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a long fight we have To conserve our energy for later on and try and get it to the beach it's Definitely not one of those fish that you can pull onto the rocks We're gonna have to try and walk it down onto the beach again So what I'm doing now is just I'm gonna try and gain some line slowly on this fish while I'm on the top Once it comes in a bit closer, I'm gonna start walking it uh, to the beach. It's very far out now um, still very early in the fight. We're gonna save our energy, just play him slowly and try and get him out. It's a proper fish. Yes. Linton got that duck bill, it went into the muscles, that 50 pound jailbreak. And he managed to get it out of there, no problem. And he still landed that fish. Cast after that, or drop after that, it was stuck into the muscles and barnacles now there, the line. And he literally popped off the muscles and barnacles off the rocks with that braid. So, sold, sold, sold. Jailbreak, nothing beats it. As you can see, we ended up quite far up the rocks here. The fish took a steep angle and came far left. Then went around the barnacles and come down and get to the front and get the, the bread of the barnacles. Pokey pound J-bread stuff, almost indestructible. Uh, I was in the barnacles for about 10 minutes. Still fighting the fish, taking drag, coming back and still holding strong. We we're putting max pressure still on it. So what I'm trying to do now is turn the fish and try and get back to the beach. So we actually got it coming back to the right, which is the right direction, but it's still a long way to go. Quite far off from the beach now. So we're just going to keep, keep walking at it, keep walking the fish and trying to get it in the right area. This is a big fish, we're not going to be able to land it up on these rocks. So we're going to have to get to the beach. Guys, unfortunately, after a long fight, um, the fish didn't want to go to the beach. To try and get it in this little beach in between Rapsons and Red Rock, I almost had it in the drain. And it took off and it went around Rapsons. It was basically in the bay. Before I could get to the beach, it decided to make one last run and it went around the point of uh, Rapsons Corner. So that was that. Win some, you lose some. Okay guys, now if there wasn't so many kids watching, I would have turned Linton around and show you how open he is uh, in any case. What a nice morning. Two pulls, good. Uh, that was that good. Got a nice duck pull. 59 kilos, we take the measurement. It was 161. And 
And uh, then he hooked that sandy which probably 100 kilo fish. Uh, definitely. And it started. took him a kilometre north to Rapsons there where that reef goes out and cut him on that reef. Yeah. Close yeah. to your trace? Or? Yeah, just, just above the leader. Uh, it's unfortunate but yeah, the, I had the fish in the bay. Um, but it decided to make one last run. It came to the surface and generally with these bigger sandies when they get tired uh, you'll see them suffer, so I knew he was almost ready to be landed, but uh, with a big fish like that, yes, it's not easy. When he wants to go, he's going to go. Even if he's tired, it's just the weight of the fish. Uh, it's very difficult, especially in these rocky areas. But um, one thing I have to say, the 50-pound J-Bread, ultimately. I it took some it. muscles off there. I took muscles <laughs> off all over here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Probably going to get a fine for that. <laughs> that's just, that's you don't have a permit. Right? Yeah, that fish was in the rocks at least four times. And when I say rocks, in proper muscle beds. And that, that red rate pulled those muscles off that rock. And that's 50 pound weight. So it's, it's amazing what the, the j braid can do, these new technologies of the bed. I have absolute faith in that bed. One day northeast. And there's fish coming on. Yesterday we toiled a bit. So thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell button to be notified every time we upload a video. Thanks guys for watching. Right, guys.